Welcome to Rex Pine CV. I'm Danielle Santiago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may not be seated today is monday april 20th 2020 now let's go to Jaden to see what happened today in history thank you danielle today in history on april 20th 1912 was the opening day for baseball's tiger stadium in detroit and fenway park in boston now let's go to nathaniel to see what to do today if you're bored and stuck indoors hello patriots family welcome to things to do if you're bored Today we are going to make superhero masks. This is what it looks like. Now let's go to the steps. First take a piece of cardboard and a Batman mask template. Trace it onto it and then cut it out. After you've done that, cut out the eyes on the template and trace that onto the cardboard. After you trace it on the cardboard, cut those eyes out. After you've done that, color your mask template. You can use any colors you want. It doesn't have to be the actual colors of the character. After you've done that, glue the template onto the cardboard. Then take a sharp object and trim the sides if needed. Poke holes in each side of the mask using a sharp object. After you've done that, take some string and tie it on. Now you have a Batman mask. Cut out a template of Hulk. On that, trace it onto the cardboard. Cut the trace part out. And then cut the hair off the template. Then color them separately. Cut the eyes out of your mask so that you can use it later. After you've done that, trace the eyes onto the cardboard mask and cut those out. Finish coloring your Hulk mask. Then you can take glue and glue on the template to the cardboard.
then poke holes into the sides so you can see your string through them. Then tie your strings on. Now you have an awesome poke mask. Find a Spider-Man template and cut it out. After you've done that, trace it on and then cut it out of cardboard. Then cut the eyes out of your mask. Trace the eyes onto your cardboard and then cut out those. After you've done that, color your paper mask. You can use any colors you want. After that, blue the paper onto the cardboard and use string to put through the holes that you cut through. Then tie it on and you have a Spider-Man mask. Wasn't that great? Now you can have a masquerade party with you and your friends. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecasted to be 95 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Now, let's go back to Danielle. Thank you, Vani. In admin announcements, teachers, please be on your Emoto page to welcome your scholars in the morning. Attendance must be taken at some point each day. Lastly, teachers, please don't forget to provide our scholars with positive hero points. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents... Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats, Ms. Santori and Mr. Santiago. You had the correct answer to Friday's trivia question, which was, how many hearts does an octopus have? The correct answer to the trivia question was three. Now let's go to today's trivia question. In Guardians of the Galaxy, what is the name of the main character? Once again, in Guardians of the Galaxy, what is the name of the main character? Teachers, please send your answers to pinesarenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. for your responses to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a marvelous Monday. And remember, reset your mindset. Have a great day.